Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the Hilti 12 volt one single handed reciprocating saw versus the Milwaukee 18 volt reciprocating saw. Now, there is a significant difference in power and significant difference in stroke length. The Hilti is SR2-A12 and the strokes per minute is 0 to 3000. So both of these have the same strokes per minute and the stroke the stroke length for the Hilti is 5 8 So uh, the model number for the uh, Milwaukee is uh, 2621-20 and it is 0 to 3000 strokes per minute. Stroke length is 1 and 1 8 So we are going to see who comes out on top. It's a very, very simple specs. So let's just get to it and uh, start cutting some wood. Alrighty, so I before we even before we start, I just wanted to point out that this is a 12 volt system versus an 18 volt system. We are gonna do the Milwaukee first. Alrighty, so we're ready to go and go. Time. Alrighty, so, oh, by the way, we are using, I'm sorry, we are using a uh, three amp hour battery. Uh, we are down to three bars now after that one, it was full. All right, so it is Hilti's turn. Battery is full, four amp hour battery. All right, ready, go. Do uh, the Milwaukee one more time. Then we'll do Hilti one more time. All right, ready? Go. Time. All right, Hilti one more time. The battery is still full. All right, so ready? Go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the best time per tool and that's going to determine the winner. I don't want metal fragments on me so I'm putting gloves on. I wish Ryobi would have uh, made gloves in America but they do not. They do in other countries. Alright I have two brand new Avanti 6 inch metal blades. And I have one uh, torch carbide teeth blade from Milwaukee. And we are going to use them both and see which one does it. Now this one has some wear and tear on it. So neither of them get a fresh uh, cut when it comes to using this blade. Alright, so we are ready to go. Alright, so uh, battery. Three bars in the battery still. Alright, so ready. Go. And time. Let's do one more. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so we got the fresh battery is at three bars. We got the fresh metal blade on the, we're actually gonna rotate that a little bit. There we go. All right, so we got the fresh blade on the Hilti and we are ready to go, so. Three bars left. All right, so ready, go. There we go. 
And it, the 12 volt, uh, 12 volt system did that without even hesitating or stopping. That's the power of Hilti. Got to do one more. All right, so we are at three bars still. All right, ready? Go. <laughs> Switch to the torch metal blade. There we go. We have three bars and we are so ready. Go. Time. Alrighty, last cut for the day. We are at three bars still. Alright, so ready, go. So we have the first we're gonna get start off with the M12, three bars. We got a 12 inch pruning blade on there to cut a four by four. One, go. <laughs> there we go. Now, this is a 12 volt. I have a feeling that the, the 12 volt is gonna majorly lose in this one. But we are ready. We have a full bars on this one still. All right, so ready, set, go. And there we go. So the Hilti lost in this one, but the fact of the matter is, a 12 volt reciprocating saw could easily cut through 4x4 without stopping or hesitating at all. I wish I had the proper size blades for this test, but I do not. Alrighty, so like I said, I knew the Hilti would lose because it's a. Uh, uh, 12 volt system versus an 18 volt system, but the power that the Hilti has, I mean, it did the same job that this guy did. You know, it took a little bit longer and a little bit more effort, but still, this did it without stopping or hesitating for a second. You know, and it, it, it's just crazy. It's just crazy that this, I mean, look at the size difference. Look at the size difference. It takes. You know, you get a lot more power with this size, but when it comes, like, this thing is crazy powerful. Now, I cannot wait to get a Milwaukee M12 Fuel single-handed reciprocating saw so I can conduct the same test. And, uh, and yeah, this thing is, uh, this thing is crazy. But that is the demonstration between an 18-volt system versus an M uh, a 12-volt system. Now, this thing is crazy powerful. We're going to cut, uh one inch black metal steel with with ease you know th this did not stop this did not hesitate whatsoever you know and it's it's barely even warm and so like of course the the milwaukee is cold you know this one this is a little warm but it, it's not bad at all 88 degrees on the body right here it's 88 degrees 
which that's that's still pretty cold for a used tool. Now, of course, you guys know that you don't use a 12 volt system all day. A 12 volt system is designed for doing it for certain spots. Now, you wouldn't use a 12 volt for what I use it today, but it's a sort of an extreme test that a 12, the Hilti 12 volt system can do. Now, yes, you can get more power out of the Milwaukee using a bigger battery. And this was a three amp hour versus a four amp hour but it's an 18 volt system versus a 12 volt system. So, so it, uh, the, the Hilti didn't do too bad against the, the Milwaukee. You know, it, it got its butt kicked when it comes to time, but this didn't stop at all. I guarantee you other brands will stop at doing these tasks and we're gonna test that out in a future video. In all honesty, the, this Milwaukee and, and even, even this one, it, it, it feels like a toy in your hand compared to holding a Hilti. Like this feels like a tool and it looks like a tool. It doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look like it's a, a space weapon. You know, the Hilti tools look like they're actual tools. Simplicity is the way to go when it comes to tools, but this brand is awesome. So that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.